In this video, we're going to learn how to use audio files inside of After Effects and sync them up with an existing animation. So I'm in the demo files for this week. Uh, in that folder, I've got a sound demo project folder. And inside of that, I've got several versions of beginning and finished After Effects projects that all use sound. We're going to look at this one today called Sync Audio to Visuals Start. So I'll go ahead and open that up. You can see here I've already got a sequence of two wine glasses toasting each other. So I've started with a layered composition in Illustrator, imported that, added some rotation and position keyframes uh, to get this far. Uh, at this point, I'd like to bring in some sound and use that to sync up and emphasize uh, the action that I'm seeing visually. So let's go ahead and import some sound files. So from the file menu, I'll click import file. And so inside my project folder, uh, I've got a subfolder labeled audio. And within that, I've set up one folder for some live recordings, one for some synthesized sounds. And the file I'm interested in is in the live recordings folder. Uh, so let's just scroll through here. And here it is, clinks sneezes.wave. So I'm just going to import this uh, as the default footage. I don't want to create a new composition. Uh, I'm just importing this as one piece of its own independent media. So I'll go ahead and click Open. And then I should see my audio file here in the project panel. So let's click and drag this down into my composition. And in this case, this is just an audio file. There's no visuals attached to it. Uh, so sometimes you'll be taking audio from, say, a video file that also has an audio track. In that case, it makes a difference where you put it within your layer stack. Here, it doesn't really matter. So I'm just going to place it down at the bottom. Now, we've got some controls uh, for our audio. Uh, on that layer in the timeline panel, I can mute or enable the audio with a little speaker icon. And that'll toggle on or off the audio for just that one clip. Now, often in After Effects, you'll have multiple audio clips, sometimes playing simultaneously. So that gives you the ability to toggle off individual clips. So I can see here that my audio clip is actually longer than my entire sequence, and especially it's longer than uh, the about two seconds that I've already animated so far. So what I need to do here is find the part of that audio clip that I'm actually interested in using. And one way I can do that is to look at the audio waveform. So that's kind of a visualization of how loud the audio is over time. So if I expand the properties on this audio layer, I can get down into the audio properties. And here I can do things like adjust the audio levels. So that controls how loud or soft the audio is. I could even keyframe that to do something like fade audio or ramp up the volume. What I'm looking for now is this waveform option. So you can see when I expand that down, I get a visualization of how loud the audio is. So this is going to help me uh, narrow down the parts of the audio that I'm interested in using. Now, I was already listening to this earlier, so I have a pretty good idea of where I want to zero in on. And I think it's this little blip right here. Um, so that uh, kind of spike that we see on the waveform, that's the sound of uh, me clinking together two wine glasses in front of the microphone. So since I'm only interested in this part of my longer clip, I'd like to trim off uh, the left and right ends of that clip that aren't really going to line up with my animation. Um, so right now I've got my playhead all the way at the beginning of the sequence, and I'm going to trim this in the same exact way as if I were trimming uh, a static image on screen. So on my keyboard, I'll hold down Alt or Option, and then I'll hit the left-hand bracket key. So you can see now I've chopped off the left-hand side of that clip. And I'll do the same thing at the end of my work area to trim off the right side. So I'll move my playhead to the end of the work area. This time on my keyboard, I'll hold down Alt or Option and then hit the right bracket key. So now you can see I've got just this one uh, sub part of my audio file isolated from the rest. And I can go ahead and preview this. And if I slide down my preview panel to get all of my options, uh, you can see here I've also got a toggle for audio. Uh, so this lets me uh, decide whether I want to hear audio in the preview. And this is another place, especially if I've got a bunch of audio clips, that's nice because you can just toggle on or off everything. 
So I'll make sure that's enabled. Let's go ahead and click play. And that's actually looking fairly good. Um, I think what I want to do is just make sure that I'm fine tuning this uh, audio to line up exactly with the animation. And so if I track back a little bit, so right about there is where I want that clink to happen. So it looks like it's happening just a tiny bit early. Um, and again, this is a place where the waveform really helps to line things up. So I'll just click and drag just to line up right about there. Let's go ahead and play that back. And that's looking really good. Now, if I want to, uh, I can do some adjustments as well to the audio levels. So again, uh, that's going to either amplify or soften the volume. So our audio levels are measured in decibels. And when we have a measurement of zero decibels, that means it's going to play back at the volume that it was recorded. If we take this up above zero, we are amplifying the volume. We can go all the way from zero to 12. Uh, as we're doing that, we want to make sure uh, to take a look at our waveform and make sure that we're not clipping uh, the audio and uh, that would lead to distortion if we're actually making it too amplified. Likewise, we can click and drag and take this audio levels down. So the farther down we take this, uh, the quieter it's going to be. If we go all the way to about negative 60 or so, that's going to be complete and absolute silence. Uh, so you can see it's not really a linear scale. We can go much farther into the negative uh, to go quieter than we can into the positive to amplify. Okay, so I'll just set that back to zero uh, to take us back to where we started. Okay, so that's a quick overview of how to import and make some basic edits to audio files in After Effects.